Academy. I am Tour Guide Barbie and today's lesson is Universal's Universal Holiday Experience Walkthrough in the Holiday Tribute Store. What are they all about? It's opening day! Let's go! For Horror Nights the past, uh, I believe, three or four years, but this year they're doing a holiday store, which other than the Grinch, I don't really know what they'll have in there, so <coughs> very psyched to go see what that's all about. And then also they're not doing the Macy's Day Parade like normal, so instead they're doing a walkthrough where you get to see some of the parades close up close and I believe there's supposed to be characters in there as well. Two weeks ago, I was walking through this exact spot to go through the return of, oh, what's it called? Shoot. The Bride and Frankenstein's Revenge. No, Reawakened. I don't know. The Bride House. Two weeks ago, we were walking through this to do that. And now it's Christmas! Woo! Wow. Yes, I wasn't prepared to meet you so soon today, yeah, and right. I'm I'm be beside myself. It's all like I got like early 14th of November. It's sort of like early voting, you know what I mean? <laughs> Same thing. Same Which thing. we did. Yes, we did. What is your tattoo, my lady? That's beautiful. And he has the key. He has the key to her heart. Yes. I love that. I'm gonna get weepy. <laughs> That's gorgeous. You are both gorgeous. Uh, Where are you from? Here. Here? Yeah, this room. I knew I heard someone walking around the sound stage last night. Yeah. They stayed here last night. This is our house. It's snowing in Florida. The Universal Holiday Experience with Macy's Balloon. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Obviously nothing takes the place of an actual parade, but they have different characters throughout. And of course, Santa, the big guy, which you get to talk to and have a distance photo shoot with. Very cool. And you know what's great about it? It's indoors, which in Florida is always a plus, as long as you have your mask on.
put uh, now six dollars in and watch it make a wax figure of Santa. Apparently, I used to do them at the zoo all the time when I was a little girl, like ten years ago. Ten years ago. <laughs> Having a Whoville village in a heartbeat. It's so cool. Look how cute he is. Look at weird Japanese Grinch. <laughs> and he looks like if he were to be mixed with a cat. The Grinch cat? And a mushroom. I'm surprised they haven't done a magnet to make it a shoulder grinch. Someone should do that. It's the right size for it. Brilliant Harry Potter Christmas. This is very cool. In case you didn't know from videos past, I'm totally like a Ravenclaw. It's true. They're personalizing scarves and things here. Very cool. I just want one eggnog. One eggnog? Are you getting the regular or the alcoholic? Oh my goodness, what's the difference? Um, the alcoholic does come with the party rum in it, and then you'll get a bigger cup and a coconut cake on top with uh, cinnamon. Well, let's do it. Let's get crazy. It's 2020 after all. <laughs> Thank you so much. No Tell me again what this was. It's a coconut cake. Coconut cake, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Cheers. That's the nutty dog. I got the nutty dog with Bacardi rum and nutmeg and a coconut cake topper. Very jazzed about this. I wasn't expecting this, but uh, looks pretty, pretty exciting. I'm sure it's gonna be $40. Hi! <laughs> the tribute store was adorable, which I expected. The Harry... What do I say? Like, obviously the Grinch room was great. And the first room with all their ornaments from their Christmas shop. You can tell though, like the Harry Potter room is cool, but it's nothing that's like specific to Christmas that you couldn't find all the time. But it was a really neat themed room without having to go all the way back to Diagon Alley and the embroidery that they were offering there is neat. And then this, the Nutty Nog. I'm a fan of this a lot. The whole thing is worth it just to get this.
Cheers. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to be coming back to Universal a few times over the next few weeks to check out the holiday treat trail that they have this year and the Christmas tree scavenger hunt and some maybe of the other Christmas offerings they have. But we want to get these two things because they're brand new this year out of the way first. Let us know what you think. Let us know what's happening in your neck of the woods. If you could give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Tour Guide Barbie. This is Theme Park Academy. That was pretty cool. And of course we got to see Santa, which I wasn't expecting at all. Yeah. That was a nice little surprise. I like didn't even have my list ready or anything. How yeah. how embarrassing. That is embarrassing. I can't believe it. Yeah. You didn't get your little cutouts of the different things that you wanted out of the catalog. Hey! I did that when I was six. Yeah, and I have those cutouts. If you guys subscribe to the channel, then I'll send you a <laughs> photocopy of ah! Barbie's our theme park, what's your name? Tour Guide Barbie's uh, Christmas list from when she was six. It's fun. We just literally walked into the trash area because we were talking. We're, we went the wrong way. <laughs> It's the other guys that did it. The other guys? Yeah. Oh, the other guys. Out of sync. I thought it was a good joke. Tour guide Barbie didn't care for my joke. Sam will tell us. Pentatonix. I still think out of sync is way better than pentatonics, but that's cool. <laughs> 